We got this monk. Alright, here is another tip, obviously. This can be done with the assassin, or the uh, samurai. All you need is black powders. You throw the black powder, and before it explodes, hit your ultimate. You should get like something like this. See, I got my resolve again. Usually you get full resolve, there's a lot of enemies. So let's say we, I only have one black powder bomb. I throw a sticky, then a black powder, ultimate. That still counts as, you know, another black powder bomb. Alright, here's the assassin. I'm gonna show you how you can be efficient with the ultimates with this guy as well. Same thing as the samurai. You throw your black powders before they explode, you hit your ultimate, and then those two black powder bombs will go towards your next ultimate. Blast radius definitely helps here as well. That's why I'm running blast radius on the sticky bomb. This is how you be efficient with the uh, assassin's ultimate ability. I highly recommend you use resolve increase. It still helps here. Oops. Sometimes they explode a little bit more earlier, but that's fine. There's another wave. The ghosts could feel the intense power from the disciples. So, throw your bombs. There you go. Oh, that guy's dead. <laughs> and then, again. That's double ultimate assassin. I have many legends for you. That's how you enjoy. juggle with the assassin. You already know how to juggle with the samurai. You can obviously do multiple ultimates, especially if you're running liquid courage. You can get up to three ultimates, one right after the other. The hunter. The hunter can actually do this as well, simply because of the bottle and a sticky bomb as well. It's all about timing. I think I have a clip somewhere where I'm able to pull off a double ultimate for the hunter. The ghosts heard the rest of the caravan approaching. The ghosts I want to show you the Ronin. You can do it for the Ronin as well. You can juggle your ultimates. 